Hello everyone and welcome to a short video presentation and walk around of uh, Strassmeyer RWK 600 by 500 HHC crack sealing machine. Uh, this machine is the top of the line uh, in our crack sealing machine range uh, and is designed for implementation of the entire process of crack sealing uh, including cleaning and warming of uh, cracks, easy preparation and dosage of special sealing compounds for the cracks, joints or road edges. Uh, the unit is assembled on a tandem trailer with the opportunity of self-drive on the job site. Uh, it's equipped with one main engine, which is the HATS 4H50 TICD with a power of 55 kilowatts. Uh, and next to the engine uh, in the big compartment in the front is sitting a Dynaset HKL 2600 um, liters of capacity of compressed air, which is used um, to clean the cracks by the means of mixing them with Yay. propane through this special mixing box and then uh, at the end giving us the result of uh, over eight bars of um, of the gas mixture coming out of this air from the of the hot lens uh, with the temperatures over 800 celsius degrees so this is the highest uh, technology the best technology for preparation and warming and cleaning of the cracks before uh, starting the process of uh, of crack sealing so let us now uh, maybe walk through the main components uh, which we can find on uh, on this machine and since we are here we can look into the uh, engine chamber we have one access door located in here like i said we utilize a four cylinder hats uh, engine which is conforming to the most modern uh, regulations of uh, exhaust emissions which are the eu stage 5 and uh, epa uh, tier 4 final on the same side, we also get a nice holder for the uh, electric inverter, which is providing us 230 volts for the Riello burner. The Riello burner uh, is heating, uh, in all of our machines uh, in for crack sealing, the Riello burner is used to heat up the thermal oil, which, are running, which is running in between the walls of the main tank. Uh, the thermal oil is heated uh, directly through the, uh, through the flame, uh, by the pipe and then the pipe gives back the heat to the thermal oil which then is uh, in turn pumped through the walls uh, and also through the grill of this um, of all of our crack sealing machines on this side we also see a holder for the electrically operated uh, delivery, line, delivery ran, lens the optional equipment in this machine which the customer has uh, ordered is the electrically heated hose it provides us a smooth operation uh, by uh, keeping the constant temperature uh, through the delivery um, through this hose about 180 celsius uh, degrees uh, one of the unusual uh, equipment also on this machine is the external mastic pump which was uh, used by this project it's a steinmill pump uh, heated by thermal oil uh, and uh, also thanks to its uh, external construction it's much easier um, to, to change it or service than a uh, submerged pump. Let us now maybe quickly uh, see the internals of the boiler. Since recently all of our crack sealing machines uh, possess a split boiler which means that one part is heated by thermal oil which allows us to um, pre-split the blocks before they get into the mixing chamber. As you will see on the lower parts we have also added additional um, additional uh, pipes through which the thermal oil runs so that allows us for quicker heating of the mastic every day. Uh, also we give this uh, split grill uh, in standard, which allows you to put the material directly into the um, into the mixer. In case, for, ex for in example, if you would like um, to use the heat which is left in the machine uh, after the full day's work, if you are preparing for the next day, uh, you can put as much material uh, as you can uh, fill in into this chamber. Then put the rest on the top. Switch off the machine, uh, go back, uh, go back home, spend some time with your family, and after you to come back tomorrow, um, the material will be already pre-split and melted into the lower uh, chamber. 
Oh, and uh, let me not forget about the uh, main advantage which uh, comes from uh, using this electrically uh, heated hose, uh, which is that we heat the emulsion, uh, sorry, the uh, mastic until the furthest point of application. That means that we do not have to circulate the mastic um, back into the tank. The pump is engaged by the operator by using this handle, which directly translates into almost double uh, doubling of the life of the mastic pump. Uh, as most of you know, the mastic, uh, which is used for uh, joint sealing, crack sealing and so on, uh, incorporates uh, a few percent of filler, of mineral filler, which basically is very um, um, abrasive. This is the biggest uh, problem uh, by, uh, by those machines, is that the pump will get used uh, in some time, eventually. Uh, and mostly it will be used by circulation uh, of the mastic all the time. If by such solution, where you only pump the mastic when you want to apply it to the road, then we double all, or triple the life of the of the mastic pump, which are let's not let's say not the, not the cheapest one. Uh, now going to the back of the machine, we will find a few controls which are important from the point of view of the uh, operator. Here we have the control of the pressure and the amount of uh, delivered material to the lens, so the speed of the pump. Below we have the connection for the uh, air cleaning, uh, blowing out of the hose and the lens. Then we've got an output to fill up the buckets with the mastic, the temperatures of thermal oil and uh, the material temperature. A big light, the optional triple light for the additional safety. And then we can move on to the uh, main panel. Starting from the left top, we have got the uh, HUTS engine display, which will show us the operating conditions of the machine. Later on, we've got the timer for the, uh, for the night heating and the temperature for the uh, heated hose. Here we start the heated hose operation. Here we control the speed of the HUTS engine. We have four steps. Below we can start the burner. We can see if uh, the burner had any problems with the fuel delivery, for example. Then we will have uh, a red light here. We've got the, um, the timer to control the time uh, working of, of the burner. We've got some safety lights, same here the compressor work we've got the mixer front and back lowering and lifting of the axles we've got two main steps for the speed of the self-drive so we control the self-drive with this stick front and back and with the steering wheel so the operator is always following the uh, the machine and he's connected by this wire if the wire breaks off the machine will stop uh, so the speed is uh, controlled uh, and, the, and the direction is controlled by this lever and by two main gears. So the slow one and the quick one uh, to, to change the place of the machine. The normal one for the standard work is the slow, uh, slow gear. Here we've got the, uh, the mastic pump which has uh, three modes. So in automatic mode we will uh, work uh, with the lens by clicking the, the switch which I showed you before. Uh, if it is on zero, then of course uh, it's no work for the mastic, it doesn't matter if it's switched on and off. Uh, and the full, uh, full power of the mastic if we'd like to pump something out. Here we can uh, also do the sucking uh, motion for the pump, so it's the uh, counter revolutions of the mastic pump to suck the material back from the heated, uh, from the heated lens. And another working lights, which we'll see started here and an emergency stop to deactivate all of the functions of the machine, including the engine and so on. For additional safety, we've got also this uh, buzzer here, which will uh, make a sound when uh, going in reverse. From this side of the machine, uh, we can see uh, an additional box, which is uh, included whenever we use the summer for the equipment uh, mixer for the gas. Here we have placed the starter uh, which is used uh, to do start up the heated lens. We connect it in the front of the machine, start up the lens by connecting uh, through a spark plug, and then the lens operates normally and constantly by the means of this dinner set, HKL 2600. Um, 
if I have not mentioned it before, here is a holder for two large 33 uh, kilogram bottles required for the uh, constant operation for the warming of the cracks and cleaning of the cracks with the hot air lens. So I think that uh, from for this moment I can tell that I have uh, told uh, whatever is needed for such a short uh, walk around video. If you require more information, please contact uh, our sales department. Uh, please find a dealer on our webpage uh, in the dealer subpage or contact me directly uh, on uh, on my email or by phone. My contacts is under the webpage also Jakub Kanarek. If anything uh, is needed, then please contact me directly. Uh, thank you for your time and let's hope we stay in touch.